Hello everyone and welcome to this week's game development log video diary and this week I've been working on improving the eating functionality as well as adding the new wild boar species into Aquilinox. So I started this week by finishing off the boar models and getting them added into the game and I then worked on creating a rather unique looking movement for them to allow them to bounce around happily in the world. The next thing I did was to add some new features to the eating system to make it a bit more flexible, and one of these new features was to allow animals to have multiple diet options instead of previously where they could only eat one type of food. So you can see that our friend here, the wild boar, has quite a few different types of food that he can eat, and these foods are actually ordered by preference, so for example in an area where there's grass and fruit trees, the boars prefer to eat the delicious low poly fruit, but if there wasn't any fruit available, they'd still be satisfied with munching on a bit of grass. On the topic of food, I added another new plant into the game this week, which is the potato plant, and you can see some growing in the world here. Some animals, such as the sheep, will just eat this plant in the same way that they eat grass, but they are of course missing out on all of the starchy goodness that lies below. The wild boar, however, is a little bit more intelligent, and when it eats the potato plant, it actually digs up the entire plant and sends potatoes flying all over the place. These potatoes can then be eaten and enjoyed by all of the boars, and when they run out of potatoes to eat, they'll start digging up some more again. In order to implement this, I again had to make some improvements to the eating system and allow for animals to have different eating animations for when they eat different types of food. So for example, when the boar eats fruit or grass, it just uses the simple eating animation that the sheep have always used, but when it eats a potato plant, it carries out this new eating animation that I created this week, which involves a couple of particle effects. The potato entities actually come from the death animation of the potato plant, and this new death functionality can be added to any entity to make them spawn other entities in the world when they die. Also this week, there were quite a few other smaller little updates that I worked on, so for example I made some changes to the UI for the main menu, because since I added the day-night cycle to Aquilinox, it's made it a little bit tricky to see the UI when you open it up during the night because of all the dark colours. So the colour of the UI now depends on the time of day in the game, so you can see that it uses the usual dark colours during the light hours of the day, but when you open it up in the night, it has a slightly lighter colour scheme to make it more visible. I also worked a bit more on the code for the rabbit movement and made it slightly more flexible so that it could be adapted for other animals to use as well, such as these squirrels here, but I do still want to do a bit more work on this movement next week. There's also one other new animal species in Aquilinox this week, which is these cute little guinea pigs which waddle around using another new movement that I implemented. I've also been working on a new tree model, which I'll add into the game next week. And finally this week, I spent quite a bit of time going through a lot of the species and updating their species information, as well as making sure that all of the species in the game now have icons. So that was pretty much everything that I got done this week. Next week I want to get started with implementing hunting behaviours for animals that are predators, and I'd also like to get a bit more work done on the new engine, and you'll be able to see all of that in a behind the scenes devlog video next week. The next animation tutorial will be out in the next couple of days, just as soon as I've finished editing it. But yeah, that is going to be it for this week. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a fantastic week, and I will see you all next time.